my name is Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel and I'm just wrapping up 2018 really uh, and so this is the finance update and we harvested £7,239 in total 239 of that was in December and I'm actually fairly pleased with that um, but uh, it's it, there's some interesting lessons learned really by looking at the uh, the monthly uh, harvest values and, and the most important lesson is that whilst it's really great to have uh, veg all the way through winter uh, and we have just enough for us and a, and a couple of other people um, the real focus of winter growing needs to be preparing for early harvests in spring because whilst over the whole of winter we might harvest something like 500 pounds worth of veg we'll harvest 500 pounds just in March uh, and then you know we'll probably harvest 750 pounds in April and you know we'll be up to probably a thousand pounds in May, June, July uh, and August and so preparing uh, for early harvests is really the focus uh, rather than uh, feeding us and it's just kind of nice that really those two objectives do coincide a little bit in that you know we've got to have lots of stuff in the ground uh, over winter anyway in order to have early harvests in in March um, and maintaining those plants and keeping them healthy does involve picking them uh, and so that's you know we get enough uh, to eat uh, over that period of time as well so yeah it, it's kind of interesting and, and it has modified my thinking a bit because when I first started out you know I was all focused on growing as much as possible over winter uh, and now I'm focused on growing as much as possible in March and it does kind of modify things a little bit um, because it, it, you know I don't need to grow quite as many mature salads for example um, in uh, October and November I only need to grow just enough to keep us going over winter uh, and I can have smaller Im immature plants in the ground um, during that period which are not ready for harvest but will be ready for harvest in May sorry in March and the difference there is that these smaller less mature plants overwinter better and they come through healthier than the mature ones do so anyway that's just a quick update uh, on the allotment finances and happy new year again if you keep watching my videos you'll have heard me say that a few times but uh, it's worth repeating and I'll see you soon